Let him exalt his name together. I said, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to him are radiant. Their faces are never covered with shame. Their poor man, this poor man called the Lord and heard him. He saved him out of his trouble. The angel of the Lord encamped around those who fear him. And he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people. For those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no good things. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And blessed is the man that takes refuge in him. Blessed is he, man, woman, he, her, who takes refuge in him. Because anyone that trusts in the Lord will never be put to shame. You know, we live in a world that tells us that how do you really know? How can you taste God? Is it some kind of a flavor that you have to taste in your mouth to feel that you can taste the Lord? Is it some kind of a sense of euphoria? You know, for those that have done all kinds of, there's a way you, there's a time that you can drive and you, when you hit cross that, that speed limit, the adrenaline, you get that adrenaline shot. And so some people think that to taste the Lord, you have to get that adrenaline jolt, and then you know that, yes, I can feel the Lord. That's not how liberal the scripture is talking about. But a sense of a taste in the Lord is a sense of a knowing in your mind, a sense of an inner peace, a sense of an inner reflection, a sense of a knowing that, yes, even though the storm is raging around me, the Lord calms the raging seas. Just like when Jesus was with the disciples in the boat, and he's lying, the, the Bible recorded that he was lying on the cushion, and the sea, the sea was kind of like storming, and all of the disciples are like walking up and saying, don't you care that we perish? Friends, when you taste the Lord, even though the storm is raging, And the storm, I'm not talking about the storm of sea waves or some, but the storm in our lives. Because we will go through storms. And when we go through those storms, we know that God is there. And so as we celebrate, as we have fun as a family, as we enjoy this day, I want you to have at the back of your mind, how am I having the taste of the Lord in my day? And I'm not talking about tasting the Lord today and then you go, yeah, I can feel him. I can feel the presence. I can feel the goosebumps around me. And I know God is here today. But that every single day you recognize for kids in the school, in the hallway, how God is taking care of you. In the cafeteria. For adults, as you drive, that God is there, that you can always sense His presence, because God so desires that we can constantly remember that He cares for every single need that we have. How can one say God cares? Through our reading this morning, we're reminded that those who taste the presence of the Lord will never remain the same. Though everything seems to be falling apart, God is there. Just as the writer of Hebrew tells us in Hebrew 3, from verse 7, he says, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your heart as in the rebellion. In the days of the trial in the wilderness where your fathers tested me, tried me, and saw my words for 40 years, Therefore, I was angry. The writer of Hebrews is saying, As you hear today the voice of God, the word of God, do not harden your heart. Open your heart because God's presence is here. And God wants us to constantly be reminded that 
He cares for every single need that we have. And I will invite you this morning to try and taste and see. God is here. Amen. Amen. So we're going to pray, and as we pray, I will give you a moment to reflect. And as we finish praying, we'll wrap up service for this morning. Let us pray. God, we just want to say thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you that you are ever present. You are ever faithful, even when we are unfaithful. God, thank you because you said when we hear this day, as we hear your word, we should remember not to harden our hearts. But may our hearts be softened to realize that you are always available. As we go out to have some fun and enjoy the food that has been sent before us, we ask, oh God, that you help us to just have a great time with you and with one another. Be glorified, not just this day, but for the rest of our week. And may the grace of our Lord and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever. Amen. 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 So I just want to say thank you to everyone that contributed to make our family fun day exciting. So the food is ready. Just remember to say thank you to uh, Christine's parents. They are like pulling most of this with all the popcorn machine and all of the, the gadgets that we have. We don't own all of those, but they just gave it to us. Amen? So have fun.